The bull run is here. Watch all the way through this video. In this video, I give you my insights, how I've always been able to be successful making money. My views on uh, the Donald Trump rally coming up where you will be able to learn how to buy his stocks, how to buy them, how not to buy them, how to get in, how to get out. This is a very long video. I go completely off on one. I don't care. I answer lots of questions and I hope that you get something out of this. I promise you, if you watch to the end of this video, Video, you will guaranteed 100%, 100% make money, not from this video, from your own education. Please watch all of it. Don't just read the, the thumbnail and the first few minutes. Don't read the comic book, read the encyclopedia. I've taken a bit of time here to uh, share my insights, uh, what I believe is the right way and the wrong way to invest. Watch to the end and you might just get something out of it. And I promise if you do, you will make money. And now, on with the video. The bull run is here. The bull run of bull runs. Rates are coming down. I'm going to tell you why, when, if, how, what's going on. Should you be in the stock? Should you be buying? Should you be listening to Meet Kevin, who said buy life insurance? Should you be listening to Donald Trump, who said that America is going to come to an end in 48 hours? That didn't happen. Well, should you be listening to the banks? The banks will predict and they'll tell you when the bull market begins and they'll tell you when the rates are going to come down. All of that, I'm going to answer on this video. And uh, remember, I am only in the S&P. I don't pump and dump stocks. I only own the S&P. Uh, I'm fully invested. I'm using margin as well because I'm fully committed to the market. And uh, I'm going to share with you some enlightening information. It's enlightening because I said so. You might not think so, but I think so. You decide. Let me in the comment. Let me know in the comments below. Is this enlightening? It's basically the basic principles of how to make money in life, how to invest, when you should invest. All of that's coming up in this video. And I know, and I know many of you are waiting to know, is it time? Is it time? You know what I'm going to do, right? Is it time for the stock market to go up to the moon? You love that. Because what we're going to do now, we're going to fly to space. Here we go. And we're looking for our little man on the moon. People love this. They love this, but they love it not as much as this. The course, the little fellas are very excited today because the bull market has run. Now, let me tell you a little secret. Two years ago, nearly two years to the day, I said, I said, and you can go and check my videos and I'll say it again. The interest rates will start to come down in the summer. I've been saying it for two years. I said the bull market started six months before it was declared by Bank of America. I am saying again, the rates will come down in the summer. Do not wait for the fo do not wait for the FOMC to suddenly tell you we've got an FOMC next week and we'll see what happens. They can reduce rates at any moment. This is what's going to happen. 100%. You can go and check back. You can come back on my show. You can troll me. You can bot me. You can scam me. You can comment. You can share me and turn me upside down on a meme if you want. I don't care because I'm 100% right on this. Are you ready for my prediction? What is happening? And why I'm always invested and why I stay invested, as Warren Buffett has said many, many times, don't wait for the correct correction. If you are a farmer, you plow your field, you plant your trees and you do it today. You don't wait. You don't wait and sit around and scratch your ass and think, well, I'm a bit busy at the moment. You plant your trees the moment you plant your trees, you nurture, you, you take care, you water, the trees will start to grow. Come back in 10 years, you've got some nice trees. Come back in a thousand years, you've got the mighty oak in Nottingham Forest in England. But you have to start the journey. Don't wait for the pullback. The banks are useless. They will tell you that we are now in a bull market. After we've been in a bull market for six months, banks don't make those kind of predictions. It's not what they do. They're like lemmings. They follow everybody else over the cliff. When everybody else has already done it, we say, hey, we're in a bull market. What we want to know is when are we going to be in a bull market? Not we're already in one because it's now been identified by two quarters of positive growth. So we must be in a bull market. That's not very smart, is it? We don't want that. 
We also don't want Jim Cramer telling us everything is rubbish and now we're going to get a slowdown and this and that and the other. That's rubbish. People watch that rubbish and they tune into CNBC and make him lots of money. That's why he says it. Why did uh, why did um, Donald Trump say within 48 hours, America is going to cease to exist when Iran stopped, dropped a few bombs on, on uh, Israel? Because it gets attention. It gets attention but it's rubbish. America is still here. Why did Meet Kevin say you can all buy my life insurance and World War Three is going to start? Because you all tuned in and you watched his videos. He makes 10 grand a video. Why did Graham Stepan go, always doing that, always sad, with a Ferrari or a sports car, whatever it is, in his studio, he makes millions of dollars out of YouTube. Rubbish. It's all. It's just to get you to watch the video. Well, I don't do that. I tell you the truth. I don't care whether you subscribe, like, watch. I ain't bothered. I'm here for my members who do want the real information, who do want to know what's going on. Now, the very definition of investing has always been, since the beginning of time, is invest in yourself and provide yourself with an income. Don't use the stock market as a cash machine. It's not a casino. Even though people use it as a casino, the investors can play that to their advantage. Remember, the house always, always wins. Always. Even those that thought they were smart and they tried to get uh, the market to crash with um, with uh, what happened with uh, with uh, with uh, what's his name, Roaring Kitty and uh, uh, and GameStop, where we st- we stuck it to the man. No, you didn't. A handful of you made money. The rest of you lost money. The only people you know who made money are the ones on YouTube. We've got trending videos. All the millions of you who lost money with no voice is screaming at the TV, going, "I bought the top when Roaring Kitty said it was the greatest investment in the world." No, Wall Street got your back, didn't they? They got your back. You all ended up losing your money. A handful of you made money. The rest of you lost money. The very definition of investing is you always remain in the market. You're always planting your seeds. You're always nurturing your trees. You don't wait for a pullback. We had someone come in the show this morning who said to me, this is ridiculous. I'm not buying anything now. As the market keeps going up, this is my portfolio. I started with five thousand dollars. This is Soundtown, by the way, another stock we've identified. I'll come on to that in a moment. I'm now at eighty-three thousand seven hundred and sixty. The biggest investment I make is myself, your business, your job, what you do to earn your income. My income is YouTube. I make videos. I could make more money if I sold the sold the narrative. It was all rubbish and we're all going to lose our money. But I don't do that because my priority is to my viewers and my members, not to gaining subscribers. They come anyway just by telling the truth, just not as quick as they might do if I said the world's coming to an end, like meet Kevin and everybody else. I'm not interested because one day we'll be 10 times bigger than those channels, no doubt, because people are sick and tired of rubbish, which benefits the, the creator, not the audience. I'm an entertainer. I've met my audience in 195 countries. Yes, every country of the world. I've toured as the world piano man. And my audience have been right in front of me. Real life, real people, right in front of me. And I meet them all at the end of the show. So I know that you are real people, not just subscribers and a money ticket for me to make money. The news is rubbish. What they put on CNBC is rubbish. Bloomberg, Yahoo Finance, it's all designed to get you to watch. I don't care whether you watch or not. I've got my members, I've got my family, and that's it. So the definition of investing is you stay invested. Do you believe, and let me put it this way, the best way to explain it is this. You're at home on your own now watching this video. You're looking down the camera lens at me. You're one individual. You're one person on your own. Now, as an individual, you have no power whatsoever to influence the market. None whatsoever. Uh, Maybe you do if you're on Reddit and stock twits because you think you're the king of the internet. Well, you're not with your handful of followers or whatever it is you think you've got. You can't move soddle, absolutely soddle, but you think you can, okay? So you can't control the market. There's no point trying to think that you can control the market. It's a, it's a complete waste of time. The market will always win. So don't don't try and do that. Now you think to yourself, 
that eventually the market is going to pull back and I'm going to buy I'm going to buy on the pullback. Don't buy on the pullback. Stay invested because you'll always miss the you'll always miss the pullback. Like Warren Buffett says, always remain invested. Always be invested. Don't get out because once you get out, then what do you do? Where do you go then? You got to try and re-enter the market, get back in again, and you're always going to pay more. Now, it doesn't bother to bother me whether you're in or out of the market, but the the reality is I have said for two years, rates are going to come down in the summer. This is now already being priced in. The markets are now pricing it in. They are now catching up to what I have been saying for two years, that the rates are going to come down. Inflation has peaked and it's coming down. Someone said to me this morning, I'm not going to buy in until uh, the rates come down. If you are waiting for the rates to come down to 2%, the market is up 30, 40, 50% by that point. Remember every seven years or over history, the S&P doubles. That's what's going to happen. It's going to double and you're going to end up buying it when it doubles. What is the point of that? Now, should you buy today? No, you shouldn't. You should already have been in. You should have bought when we had the dips. Um, should you use margin? Margin is okay. I use margin. Here is my margin position. I've got 92,000 available to me. I had 100,000 recently. And I've spent 14,000. Why don't I buy more if I'm if I'm bullish? Because I'm paying 8% and we've already had a good run and it's going to continue. But it will take me, if I bought $100,000 worth or 92,000, it's going to take me about six, seven years to pay it back with what I earn. doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. What I've got to do is earn more money and uh, from my show here and buy as much as I can and pay off the margin now. And when we get a pullback, which we will, we will get a correction. At that point, I can start using margin again and I will load up again because I can pay it off within a couple of months. But, you know, margin is... Margin is useful, but you've got to use it in uh, at the right time, and you've also got to use it in in balance. The most important thing is for you to to uh, uh, build an income and uh, a, a, and invest it in yourself and find the money to invest in. The, the 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 stock market is not a casino. Now, what will happen over the next few months? There will be a correction. There will be a correction, but if we go up another 10% over the next three or four months, which we probably will, then it corrects 5%. You're still 5% worse off than where you are, would be if you bought now, right? Because it goes up 10%, comes back 5 you're still you're worse off. So, of course, it's right for you to buy today if you've got cash, but I'm fully invested already. What I'm now waiting for is the next pullback. So the bull market has begun. Let me share with you uh, this bit of information here before I talk about our hot stock of the day. Um, this is the fear factor, what we're looking at now. Now, we were extreme greed a few weeks ago, and it swung from extreme greed to, to the edge of extreme fear and fear uh, a couple of weeks ago. That was when uh, we, we went into, uh, when Iran started to drop bombs on Israel. Does that mean, does that mean iPhone aren't making any phones anymore? Does that mean Microsoft aren't uh, building computers and AI and Google aren't doing what they do? No. But the market doesn't like uncertainty. So the market sold off, not because the market doesn't believe in the market. The market sold off because it knows that you don't believe in the market, that you will sell out. So when they sell out, you sold out, it went down, they bought back in again. They're traders. Remember, Wall Street are investors. They are traders. And the, heart, and the thing about being a trader is all very well, but 95% of day traders will always lose money. It's just, it's just a fact. Scalp traders, it's even higher. 98% of scalp traders lose money. Because even if you make money, just like going into a casino and saying, hey, I made some money today. What about the times when you lost? But what about the times when you won? but you're, not, you're now paying tax. Do you have money to pay the tax bill at the end of the year? So it's not all, it's not all as, as it seems. It's best to remain invested. So right now, the bull market has begun. In the UK, the, bank, the, 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 the governor of the Bank of England has already, as, as good as suggested, that the rate will come down in June. We are May. That's one month away. 
So that's what Bank of England governor is saying. Now, don't wait and think you've got to wait to the FOMC report, the official uh, uh, announcement and all the rest of it live on TV. No, we can have a rate cut tomorrow. It can happen now. If for some reason Jerome Powell thinks that uh, we are done with raising rates, which we know we are, and we are done uh, and it's time to cut, they can cut immediately. And the moment they cut the market is going to go even higher. It's already being priced in. So the bull market has begun. Leave your comment below on this video. Do you agree with me? Now, before I, be, before I go, I wanted to share with you a hot stock, which we are now ranking number one in the world for on Google and YouTube. And sorry, uh, on YouTube, I beg your pardon. On YouTube, Sound, S-O-U-N stock, we rank number one for this stock. Why I'm, why I'm super bullish on this stock? Because um, I lo I, I, it's right in my wheelhouse. Everything about this stock is great. Um, they are doing business with NVIDIA. It's very trending right now. Um, We're all over it. We've got a huge community. The biggest community for Soundtown watches our show. Uh, we're going to have the CEO on the, sh on, the, on, the um, on the show. That's going to happen shortly. And this stock is going to double over the next couple of months. It's a $10 stock at, at minimum. That's, that's in the short term. Long term, I don't really know yet exactly, but over the short term, this stock is going to double. Uh, we've got massive amounts of growth left in uh, AI. Now, you've got to be in the right AI, though. Now, I remember, I don't own this stock or NVIDIA, which is one of my favorites. I don't own any of these stocks. I only own the S&P because it's very difficult to pick the winner. There are many, 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 uh, many AI stocks. You might like uh, ETF. You might like the NASDAQ. That's got a lot of tech in it. Or like me, you just prefer the S&P. The point is, you don't have to pick the winner. You don't have to pick the winner. If you pick the winner, that's great. You make masses of gains. But if you pick the loser, then you lose money. However, if you invest in the S&P, the S&P owns some of the best tech companies. It owns Google. It has uh, Tesla in, in there. It has NVIDIA in there. It has Microsoft. The list goes on. So you don't have to pick the winner. And overall, what it means is, even if one fails, the overall market will go up. Because what will happen is... If uh, NVIDIA goes to $1,000, which I believe it will over the next 18 months, the overall market will go up because if NVIDIA goes up, it pushes and helps the S&P go up. People will start feeling more bullish about the general market. So they'll start buying. There's plenty of cash on the side at the moment. They'll start buying the boring stocks like the banks. They'll start buying Bank of America, Wells Fargo. They'll start buying Walmart, J&J, &J, Coca-Cola, and all the institutions and the, the, those that invest every month with their 401ks. They'll start buying more. They'll increase their, uh, their input into the S&P. So the overall market market will go up even with a few successes from Google, Tesla will rise, AI will rise. You don't have to pick the right one, just own the 500 best companies. And there was one point I wanted to make just before I go, and it, 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 it slipped my mind uh, earlier on in, in, in this video. Somebody put in the comments, and very, very important this, uh, it's probably the most important thing I could say in this video. Somebody mentioned at the beginning of this video uh, in my live stream today that I'm not investing, I'm waiting for a pullback and blah, 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 blah. And he sits there on his own with no, with no uh, way of moving the market whatsoever. You are one person going against the greatest minds on earth. Let me explain what I mean. If you buy... For example, the S&P 500, you have just bought 500 of the best companies in the world, run by 500 of the best CEOs in the world, with 500 of the best boards in the world. And their, their job, their very existence is to build their business and make money right? They're inventing things. They're making things. They are putting their money behind it. They are the greatest people in the world in those businesses to drive them forward. There's never been a moment when they've wanted to drive the business downward, where they wanted to sell less stuff, where they've wanted to do less things. No, their very existence is to build and grow and develop and earn money. That's why they exist. That's the very definition of what the business is. It's a business, all right? It creates 
business, not destroys business. So you've got all of that going on, all that energy. Every single government is trying to grow. Every business is trying to grow. Everybody within the business is trying to grow. So all that energy is going in one direction. And you are waiting for it to go down. You're either going to short the stock or you're trying to wait for it to go down. Why would you want to go against everybody who's trying to build something with the greatest minds, all the money in the world, all the power in the world is pushing forward? You cannot fight the system. It reminds me years and years ago of someone who turned around to me and said, I'm not buying an iPhone. I'm not buying an iPhone. I don't want to follow the trend. I don't want to be like you. I want to be a, I want to be a rebel. You know, the sort of people that, you know, dress up differently to everybody else, but they don't. They end up buying the same clothes that everybody else wears, but they try to be different. So they maybe they rip their shirt a little bit just so it looks a bit different. All they've got is a ripped shirt, the same shirt that everybody else owns. But this particular person couldn't buy anything else other than an iPhone or an Android. They couldn't make one out of wood. They couldn't carve one out of stone. That would make them original. They bought an Android. I said, so basically, you've joined the other half of the world then, basically, have you? No, I'm not like you. I don't follow iPhones. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do. You've just bought an Android. You know, half the world have Android phones, Galaxy, stuff like that. Uh, so you haven't achieved anything. And that's the same thing. You cannot go against the system. You can try. You cannot go against Wall Street and think, yeah, we can. We stuffed it to the man when GameStop uh, popped. No, you didn't. 99% of you own shares at the top, still do. And you're sat at home now going, yeah, I remember that. I still own GameStop at the top and I've got no money. But don't worry, Roaring Kitty and about 20 other people made all the money. You didn't. And you know they did. And you know, and you feel bad because you haven't got a voice. You haven't got a trending YouTube channel saying how much money you lost on GameStop. Those that made money have a trending YouTube channel. They're the ones telling you and you're thinking, oh, it's just me. It's not just you. It's everybody. It's a handful of people who made money. That's the reality. The same people that watch Meet, Meet Kevin and Graham Stepan in their millions... While they make money, you sit and think about what it might be like to make money. The reality is it's best to stay in the market. Why do you think that you can negatively drive a stock down and you're smarter than the 500 best CEOs in the world with lifetimes experience, trillions of dollars of money, and you're going to be right and they're all going to be wrong? It's the most ridiculous statement in the world. As Warren Buffett said, the greatest investor of, of our time, don't wait for the, correct, the correction. Always remain invested, but invest in great businesses. Own the businesses. Own the businesses. But the biggest investment you make is yourself. We've got a young investor here. Got a young investor here, Seth Houston. He runs a business, uh, a, 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 um, a, a gardening service business. They cut grass, they plant, uh, they, they plant trees and do wonderful things for people's gardens. His business is not the stock market. His business is making money, providing a great service to his customers. When he takes home his pay at the end of the day, he multiplies it. He doubles it every seven years by simply buying the S&P 500. He will achieve that. He's a young man in his early 20s. If he does that, by the time he's my age, he will be a millionaire, probably a multi millionaire. Myself, I'm starting now. I started with $5,000 just a few, uh, a couple of years ago, and I will be $1 million uh, live on the show within, and I will share it on the screen, $1 million. There it is, live on the screen, 100%. Six months ago was at 12 years. It's now down to 10 years. Already, I've cut two years off by simply investing, staying invested, building my business and, and, and keep contributing and keep earning and keep working and keep making videos and doing what I do. But rest assured, my, let me just get my face back in there. Look, 
There you go. Rest assured, I will always remain invested and always uh, uh, always uh, put my audience first, my members first, to provide the best service. Not tell you it's doom and gloom, because it isn't. The facts are the rates will come down in the summer. You can all take that to the all all take that home with you and comment below that I was wrong. And you can say to me on Reddit and StockTwits, he is wrong. I cannot wait for you to say he was right. And I'm not right because I know more than anyone else. The market knows it. Wall Street know it. The Fed know it. Apple know it. Apple know it because they've just bought the biggest buyback in history. $110 billion. Why? Because they know the markets are going up. They know the rates are coming down. Their cash on the side isn't going to be worth anything. You want it invested. Another point someone said to me this morning, a very young investor, he, he turned around to me and uh, here he is. In fact, this is this young man here. It's called Nick Vance. Warren Buffett only deploys cash during market crash or black swan events. He wants correction so he can buy. Dude has record amounts of cash right now. This young man here... Uh, likes making sentences and calling me a dude, which I don't really appreciate very much. But he's a very young investor. He's reading headlines, like, like reading a comic, looking at the pictures. He's reading the headlines at Trends on YouTube, those sort of channels like uh, Meet Kevin and Graham Stepan and BitBoy and, and Cryptos Are Us, all that silly rubbish, going to the moon, diamond hands, paper hands. It's like reading a comic. What he should be doing is reading the encyclopedia, but that's boring. That takes time. He should be reading the balance sheet. He should be reading the balance sheet of Berkshire Hathaway. However, he's not. I am. All right. But he's a young investor. He's got a long way to go. And I hope he you know, can benefit from this video. He is saying that uh, after he calls me dude, uh, he, I'm, I'm nobody's dude. I'm an old bloke. Um, he is saying that uh, Warren Buffett holds loads of cash. Loads of cash, and he waits for a black swan event. Rubbish. Absolute nonsense. Let me tell you, Warren Buffett does have a load of cash. Hang on a minute. Am I wrong? Have I got it all wrong? But look how much he owns in his businesses. It pales into insignificance. Why does he own cash? Why does he hold cash? And I don't. For the very same reason as this young man here uh, uh, wouldn't benefit either. Let me explain. If I had cash today earning 5%, what do I do with it? Well, it earns 5%. That's it. No more, no less. But hang on a minute. Don't we have inflation? Yes, we do. So my money is actually going down. My money is going down. We've got inflation running high. We've got uh, my, in, my uh, interest earning 5%, which is why we're earning so much interest because, you know, it just balances itself out. I end up making no money because with inflation, I'm just kind of tracking it. I'm not really going anywhere. So my cash is trash. It's doing nothing. But hang on a minute. Warren Buffett's smarter than me. He owns cash. How come he owns? How come he has a lot of cash on the side? Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I need to be like Warren Buffett. Hang on a minute. But Warren Buffett, his cash is a is a drop in the bucket when you look at what he actually owns. And the reason why he owns he holds cash is not because he's waiting for a black swan event. That's rubbish. He is not waiting for the markets to crash because that's rubbish. If he was, he would have sold all his shares, but he hasn't. And yes, I know he trimmed on Apple. So before anyone says, yes, he did, he sold all his Apple. Rubbish. Look what's happened to Apple now. That's not why he sold. He's not out of Apple. He's not selling all his shares because he thinks the market's going to crash. Absolutely not. He holds his cash and does something that you can't do. He holds cash because he can buy the whole business outright. And that's what he does. You can't. When you buy a business, you buy a handful of shares, nothing happens. You don't move the market. You can't control the business or anything at all. 
what Warren Buffett does. He buys new emerging businesses with his cash and buys the whole kit and caboodle. Or like Coca-Cola and Apple, he'll buy a huge chunk of it so he can control where the market goes. That's very, very different than you holding cash. So do not read a comic book, read an encyclopedia. Do not read the thumbnail or the headlines. Read an encyclopedia. Read the balance sheet. Read the, the minutes. Follow the FOMC reports. Read, uh, cover all the earnings like I do. I'm live 12 hours a day. I must pick something up, don't you think? 12 hours a day, staring at numbers, 12 hours a day, reading reports, watching earnings reports. I must pick up something. Wall Street know it. Warren Buffett knows it. You should be invested. Warren Buffett is invested. The cash he owns is so he can buy out a new small emerging company. He doesn't need that cash. It makes no difference whatsoever. It's it's a it's a blip. It's a it's a, a drop in the bucket for what he actually owns and will always own. So understand that. Very 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 important. All right. Anyway, there is, uh, there is my thoughts. Um, you can cut it anywhere you want, but the reality is 100% judge me on my results. 100% I am telling you without a shadow of a doubt, uh, in the summer, you will see the first rate cut. You will see my portfolio get to $100,000 by the end of this year. You will see me get to $1 million within 10 years. In reality, it'll probably be more like eight, seven, or even six years at the rate of my growth. But right now, I'm saying 10 years. Uh, that will improve, I'm sure. You will see me at 100,000 subscribers within 12 months. And you will see me at 10 million subscribers within seven years. 98% of our live viewers are members. The highest engagement rate of any channel on earth. 98% of my live viewers are members. Our extra channel is members only. We literally don't, we literally turn it off to the general public. I'm that confident in our audience and what we're trying to do. People want the truth. People want the truth. That's it. Uh, let me just have a quick look at the last couple of comments before I end this video. I love every moment of my job, except for rainy days like today. There we go. Uh, my God, we've accomplished a lot. Kevin B. This weekend will be the first weekend they begin to teach people how to buy DJT stock at Trump rallies. DJT demand is going to climb like crazy into the election. Oh my gosh, I'm going to answer that. That's the very definition of what not to do. So Susan Burns, thank you very much for explain for bringing that point to me. I'm going to uh, I'm going to address that comment in this video. I'm making a, a video here that's going to go out later explaining the, the the definitions of investing, and I'm going to use your comment as an example for for something. Um, let's have a look. Let me uh, let me look. I've got a couple more here. Yeah, I'm going to vote. Uh, for the little fellas, uh, let me read it. Um, uh, what, uh, what did he say here? Uh, how silly is this? This is the sort of thing I mean. Please don't be disrespectful, uh, Kevin B. N who's, who's being disrespectful? Who's being disrespectful here? No one is being disrespectful. We're having a debate and a conversation. Uh, nothing at all. Um, anyway, let me address this. This is the very definition of what not to do. This is the worst possible thing you could do. Now, let me be absolutely clear. So there's no doubt I am 100% neutral politically. I have a green card here in the United States. I cannot vote. I cannot vote and I am not politically uh, swayed either way. I don't love or hate Donald Trump. I don't love or hate Joe Biden. I have no affiliation whatsoever to the, to, to, to the politics in the United States. I, 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 I have no uh, interest at all. What I mean by that is I report the facts. What Donald Trump said 
what Joe Biden said. Unlike the BBC, I report the facts. I don't have an opinion. Donald Trump is an idiot. Joe Biden is an idiot. That's not what I do. That's an opinion. In America, you have CN, C, uh, CNN and Fox. They are simply uh, popularity contests. We love this guy and all we say is the other guy's an idiot. We love this guy and all we do is say this guy's an idiot. No. I sit here and I tell you what each one says. That's it. You decide what you believe. I just give you the facts. And let me give you a fact, an absolute fact right now. This is the most important thing in this video is this comment here. Susan Burns says, this weekend will be the first weekend they begin to teach people how to buy Donald Trump stock at a Trump rally. DJT Demar is going to climb and go crazy. That is the most ridiculous, most uneducated, silliest, stupidest comment. Sorry. I have ever heard in my entire life. Let me tell you why. A Trump rally or a Biden rally, whichever rally you go to, is in its very definition a one-sided argument. It is for the, the politician to assemble its followers, rah-rah them all up, get them all excited, run around screaming and shouting and cheering and shouting. That is not education. That is a rally designed to get everybody fired up so they go out and, and vote for you. You get the opportunity to run down the other guy, say how rubbish he is because he's not there to defend himself. You get the opportunity to say you're the greatest person in the world because no one's going to stop you. It's your rally. And everybody there is your fan. Everyone cheers for you because there's nobody else there. That's what a rally is. Either side, that's what a rally is. And Donald Trump has a very passionate audience. He has people who get very aggressive, shout and scream the odds. Some, uh, some people will make up stuff that isn't true like he had the biggest inauguration in history and the evidence showed it was half empty compared to Obama. That's a fact. That's not an opinion. That's a fact. We saw the pictures, but yet they denied it. Again, I'm completely neutral. I'm just reporting the facts. Okay. So you've got people who are going to exaggerate the truth. You've got people who are saying the truth. You've got all kinds of things going on. It's not a place to give financial information, financial advice to crazy, excited, jumping up and down, screaming and shouting people. That is the worst place to give financial advice. Absolutely ridiculous. And let's get one thing straight. If you are an investor... And you are an investor, not a gambler, not following trending videos on YouTube, not ranting and raving in stock tweets, not ranting and raving in Reddit, but a real investor. You know how to invest. You don't need a lesson in knowing how to click buy on Robin Hood. How derogatory and degrading to your audience. You think they're that stupid that they need your advice on how to buy your stock. That is the most ridiculous, degrading thing. If Donald Trump stands on stage and tells people how to buy his stock, he is laughing at you because the only winner will be him. Now, you're going to say to me, but the stock will go up. Well, of course it will go up because everybody buys it. Is that a good investment then? That's like flipping GameStop. We all buy and everyone's buying on frenzy. I'm taking financial advice at a rally. What? I know how to buy stocks and shares. I speak to a financial advisor. I already understand how to buy and sell stocks. 
buying Donald Trump stock is exactly the same as buying Apple stock. It's just I press a button. You don't want to inf excite everyone so we all start buying the stock. That's the most ridiculous thing in the world to say. The most silliest thing to say. You can't go to a rally and stand there and be encouraged to buy a stock and taught how to do it. If you're being taught how to do it, you're basically saying we are stupid and you are the almighty telling us what to do. That's ridiculous. That is frenzy. That is absolute bloody nonsense if you follow that sort of advice. Absolutely crazy. And what will happen is, what will happen is, the stock will go up. The stock will go up. And remember, Donald Trump will have his shares when he bought them on the penny uh, originally. His, his, his money will go up a million percent. And he and other big institutions will dump the stock on you. And I bet you that, I bet you they don't come on the rally the next week and tell you how to sell it and get your money out. You will guarantee to lose money. The only benefit will be to Donald Trump. That is ridiculous. And if you want to go to a rally to be told how to buy a stock, then you shouldn't be investing on the stock market. What you should be doing is going to the Donald Trump rally or the Joe Biden rally and hearing the one side arguments, because that's what you get at both. That's just the way it works. And buy their souvenirs. Buy a hat. Buy a T-shirt. I love Donald Trump. I love Joe Biden. Whatever. Buy a T-shirt. Buy a hat. Get excited. That money will go to your favorite politician. And you've got a souvenir which you can take home and enjoy. Do that. But don't take financial advice from a rally for a politician to get your money so we can win an election. In England, it's called the House of Commons because it's the house of the common person. Anyone in England, poor or rich, can be a politi politician. Anyone in England can be the prime minister, rich or poor. It's not about how much money you've got. In the United States, and I know because I've been through it, I applied for my green card. I was offered by the American government the opportunity to, to fast track the process and buy myself a, a citizenship. If I had $100,000 and employed six people, I could buy my way in to the United States. That is on the government website. On the, I had that opportunity. I could have bought my way in if I brought money into America. I could buy my green card. I could buy citizenship. I decided to do it the normal way, which cost me about three grand because of solicitor's fees. But I could have bought my way in. I can't become the president if I was a US citizen unless I'm rich. A poor man can't afford to become a prime president of America. You have to be a billionaire. It's all about the money. So please, don't take financial advice from a rally where the only winner will be the person you vote for. Yes, you might get the person that you want to run the country. You can do that without buying and taking financial advice. Remember, whether you love Donald Trump or hate Donald Trump, and I am completely impartial, Donald Trump has gone bankrupt, I believe, at least five times. Five times. Is that good financial advice from somebody that has gone bankrupt five times? If you've never gone bankrupt and you're consistently making money and you're consistently uh, not being sued and in and out of court and all the rest of it, I would take advice from you but I'm not going to take advice from anybody who's been bankrupt multiple times on purpose, in and out of court every five minutes getting sued by everybody and giving financial advice on a rally, which is designed to do nothing more than to make me money. 
That's exactly what Meet Kevin does. Graham Stepan does. Uh, Jim Cramer does. Everything is about sensationalism to get you to give them your money. Bit boy. Look what happened to him. The guy was a complete and utter lunatic. Taking drugs, cheating on his wife, making up stories, breaking into the offices. The guy was a lunatic who got famous on YouTube because he was one of the first to buy Bitcoin. That was all it was. Everyone followed him, made him money. The guy was a complete and utter lunatic. Anyway, there's my pennies worth today on how to make money, consistently make money, tell the truth, do the right thing, work hard, don't follow the trend, do what's right for you, get intellectual, do your research, study, work hard, read the balance sheet. This is not a casino. Life isn't a game. It's serious. It's fun and it can be exciting, but it's not supposed to be a game where you're going to be just benefiting somebody else. Absolute flipping nonsense. I've never heard anything like it. Anyway, absolutely bonkers. Click above my head, down below the description, over here and over here for more information. Oh, that was one of the longest videos I've ever made. I hope you've watched all the way through. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.